back, go back. No, I'm, I'm, it's just fine. So, your name? What do you want? Your name? Oh, Bob White. From the, I don't know what that is. It's whatever you want it to be. R.W. White is what I write on there. Okay. But uh, we were talking about how to put things back together in the concept of remembering. And the way I view it is from a, somewhat of a theological view, uh, built around the whole Eucharist. And that is, we take members of our stories, things that we remember from our past, and we put them together, remembering, in that re being the Latin core, putting together. So we take members of all that which we know of our story, and we put it, and that's what we do when we take the bread and we eat it and we remember we drink the cup and we remember that story. So, in, for your, what you're doing about trying to remember the past, and you're taking pictures of various people, and I see this concept of remembering, and I didn't do as good a job with that as I did the first time I told you. Oh, it's still beautiful. Thank you very much. It was 1935. So and you you moved to the home in Spencer when you were 10 years old, you say? Yes. In 1935. Yes. Okay. And and I started going to school at North Spencer. Walked to school every day. And There were all eight grades in the school. Our teacher was John Cowell, and uh, he was a good teacher. <laughs> uh huh. I liked him especially because he was interested in nature. He oh wow! Did a lot of interesting things with nature. I still have the the Cornell leaflets that were published at that time on trees and, and nature subjects. Oh, that's awesome. Yeah, I saw someplace in there, uh, there was a, a woman who, she became a doctor, and she took the train back and forth somewhere around Spencer. It might not have been right in Spencer. Do you know about her? She she taught at mm -hmm. Cornell and took a train back and forth from Cornell to her home. No, I'm not sure who that would be. Okay. So can you show me again the picture in, in the book? You, you contributed these pictures to this publication. Show me where you are again. Well, this is one of, these are all pictures from that publication. John Cowell uh, took these pictures and made up booklets for each one of us. He made up booklets, the girls' booklets only had the girls' pictures in it. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, this is from this, this is me. Oh, my goodness. And um, Betty Keller. Lempi Hanula and F Margaret Francis. Oh, that's Velma McFall. Hmm. The boys are playing ball, and the girls are sitting and watching. <laughs> <laughs> was that the way it always was? It must be. <laughs> Do you, did you ever play ball? No, I don't remember playing ball. Oh, okay. Croquet was the big thing at home. I see. When we had company, we'd play croquet. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. There's everybody there. So at school, the girls, did they ever play any sports? We played Danny over the, the, the building. The church was closed and the windows are boarded up. So we could play ball in there. Uh huh. We played fox and geese and and some other games at prisoners' base. Oh, okay. So, how did prisoners' b base go? I don't know. You must have 
I really can't remember. Um, you tapped them on the shoulder, and then they were on your side. And oh. Maybe prisoner's base, maybe you had to run to, like, a base or something. To be free or something. I, I can't remember. So, so you loved school because of your teacher's ideas about nature and impl implementing um, study of birds and stuff. That's awesome. Yeah, I always liked that. I don't remember the other subjects. Um, one was the year that that year that I'm talking about, um, and when the end of the school came, he had cut up a lot of newspapers and had a bag full of paper scraps, and um, he went out into his sugar bush and made a trail and some some trails were false trails and some were to a to a prize. We like that. Oh yeah. Oh that's neat. So that was sort of like an orienteering. Well that was the end of the year that's, game. That's cool. That's really neat. Um so did you, my mom remembers going to uh, Cornell to see Eleanor Roosevelt. Did you, do you remember going to Cornell, like to visit for? When I got into high school, yes. Uh-huh. We um, went to the Margaret Van Rensselaer Hall. Mm-hmm. And we must have gone to the, the, um, but later years, we were involved in um, the Department of Agriculture part. I see. Uh-huh. Yeah. My brother tells about skipping school. <laughs> yeah. He'd go out and, and one f farmer nearby, he'd help him during the day and then he'd come back and walk home with me. Uh huh. I don't remember it, but he tells it. <laughs> How far did you have to walk again to school? Um, in in feet or mileage, I don't know. It's it's a quarter of a mile or. Oh, so you weren't that far. No, just up the road. Yeah. So what was your favorite thing about um, going to, to school and growing up in Spencer? Well, you already mentioned about the nature studies. Well, there wasn't many people to play with. Mm-hmm. Um, Velma lived up the road. And... Um, once in a while, I'd go up to her house, but I didn't have any sisters. Uh huh. Just a couple of brothers who weren't interested in anything I was interested in. <laughs> yeah. One was ten years younger. Mm hmm. In fact, I told my mother he, she should spank him so that he'd know what it felt like. Yeah. He never did anything wrong. Oh. <laughs> yeah. We had moved in with my grandfather. Mm -hmm. I see. And what kinds of things were you most interested in when you were in high school? High school? Yeah. Um, well, in high school, I was taking uh, home economics as a major, and that was like two hours a day. Oh, uh-huh. And I was bored to death. Yeah. But I had a boyfriend. Oh. <laughs> yeah. Life wasn't all that interesting out in the country. Oh, uh-huh. 
I, I, I like to play the piano, and I played it a lot. Mm hmm For, to amuse myself. Right. Yeah, I heard you play. You play very well. No, no. <laughs> I just play for myself. Yeah. So did you teach yourself? No. Mm hmm I took lessons for, from the year, age of five to to oh. when we moved to oh. ten. Wow. Yeah. So did so you you had a boyfriend in high school. Um did you how long did you go together? We eventually got married. Oh, okay. Yeah. We were married sixty four years. Wow. Wow, that's an incredible. That's really amazing. We knew it was what we wanted when we saw each other. <laughs> yeah. Oh, that's that's great. So tell me about these quilt. Or did you do those quilt squares? These that are hanging on the wall. Well, those I don't call them quilt squares. Um, they're envelope, made from envelope. Oh yeah, that's right. You were showing me those. Those are somebody was. They're beautiful. Michelle was showing me. They're so great. They're all from envelopes. Yeah, wow. Incredible. So are there, I wonder if there are other pictures. I know I kept seeing your name so many times. Maybe there's other pictures in here that you took. If you, if you recognize something, you can well, tell. I took that one. Oh, you did? All of these. So when they moved the building, my husband and his brother and their in his tractors. Okay. Wow. <laughs> that must have been something to move a whole building. Wow. So do you remember the day that happened? Yeah, I remember that. I don't know what, I can't tell you what day. It's on the pictures. Moving to the Hugtown School, May 1980. Oh, okay. All right, let's see if there's any other. I took that picture. I'm pretty sure it took some like it. Yeah. incredible. You know, you took that one, or, or you, you s submitted it, that picture. Oh, that, yeah, that one. What is that picture of? Well, it, there was a schoolhouse that, called the Branch Schoolhouse, mm -hmm. and it was um, let out, I, they didn't keep it anymore, and we wondered what happened to the building, mm -hmm. and they think that that's the building that it became, the, the garage behind somebody's house or something. Mm -hmm. hmm. We weren't positive of it. Yeah. So when you were growing up, were there ever any, like, rumors about places being haunted or anything like that? Were there any like local ghost stories or? Hmm. Trying to think of some. <laughs> I don't know. Were there any like funny stories? Like what? What are some funny stories? And two, I'm going to be here, we can, I can come back too if you want to like think about it. Like funny stories or scary stories or stories about heroes. I'll have to be thinking about that. Okay. All right. That's good. Oh yeah, you, you s submitted that too. You, did you write this? Yeah, I wrote that. Oh. 
I have published three books of those writings. Wow. Oh, that's amazing. Yeah, that's nice. You're like the best person to be talking to about this. Now, real quick, I can't think of it. So, please send in my office. Mm -hmm. Well, do you... I tell, I tell, so, so tell me about that again. What do you remember about school? Well, I didn't have any sisters, and I didn't have anybody to play with. And I didn't... <laughs> I went up the road to play with Zama once in a while. Mm-hmm. But um, Betty Keller I didn't like. She was my age. Because she had fancy bows in her hair, and, and she had bought and dresses. And she just was nicer than me, I guess. Uh -huh. I didn't like her. Yeah. And I remembered one other story. Um, in the schoolhouse, there's a two front, two doors to the front. One door for the boys and one door for the girls. And um, between those two doors was a, a blackboard, a big blackboard. And John was, Mr. Cowell was washing the board with a, a rather sloppy cloth. <laughs> and he turned around and he said, Gene Seeley, you're the trouble, the cause of all the trouble in this school. <laughs> and he threw that cloth and it hit the washboard, the blackboard, and fell on the floor with a, <laughs> with a sound. <laughs> oh, dear. <laughs> I must have been acting up back behind his back. <laughs> so did you, were you kind of mischievous? Probably I got bored. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's a good story. Were there other times you got in trouble? No, not really. Yeah. <laughs> All right, what do you what do you remember? That store across one. Uh-huh. And paying a nickel for a candy bar. Oh, really? Yeah. So um so you didn't get to get the treats very often? No. Uh, so do you remember what the special occasion was? Like why you got to... I don't know why I had the nickel. Uh-huh. Yeah. <laughs> Is the building still standing? It was just removed this past year. Oh, really? Uh. Is the school still standing? It was moved back and to... Um, a lot in the back area, and they was going to uh, remodel it or fix it up as a school building, but it didn't work. Mm-hmm. Hmm. He gave up on it. Okay. <laughs>